Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jolie and today is January 4th. Alrighty, four days into the year, 2023. And um, for those who are watching this this year, present moment, that's cool. I know that these will be up for a very long time. So I just thought about that. I'm like, well, that's okay. We're going to be reading and reading all different things. So I have over um, 365 days of ratings on this channel. Um, Course in Miracles, we have um, every, all the Course in Miracles is up um, day by day. Um, Courage to Change, as well as Hope for Today and One Day at a Time in al -Anon. And now we're starting a new book, Each Day New Beginning. So grateful to be here and read to you. First and foremost, I'm here for myself so that I can read. And this gets me to sit myself down and focus on this task. So I'm really grateful for this. And um, here we go. January 4th. There's a quote from Judy Chicago. And it says, once I knew that I wanted to be an artist, I had made myself into one. I did not understand that wanting doesn't always lead to action. Many of the women and men, people, had been raised without the sense that they could mold and shape their own lives. And so wanting to be an artist, but without the ability to realize their wants, was for some of them only an idle fantasy, like wanting to go to the moon. There are probably not many of us. This recovery program uh, has us who um, gappled with life as straight on as uh, the person in the quote did. It's likely we didn't understand that we could mold and we could shape our lives. Maybe we didn't understand that. So how lucky we are to be learning now that with help with like the 12 steps and showing up for each other and for ourselves and one another. So each day we are com uh, confronted with many opportunities as well as obstacles to make the responsible choices, the reasonable decisions. These choices and decisions are the molders, the, the shapers and of who we are becoming decisions. Our identity as people, um, as humans, is strengthened each time we thoughtfully make a choice. The action we take through making each choice gives our identity more sustenance and more substance. Our wholeness as human um, is guaranteed through these choices. Many opportunities to make choices will arise today. I can be thoughtful and I can make choices that will lead to my greater wholeness. So I was listening to something uh, today about one of the um, thought leaders of the world um, I won't specify who, um, but they were talking about how focused this individual was and that each choice, uh, each decision that this person makes has a long-term goal in mind. And so it'll either get it closer, the decision when there's a V in the road of making a decision Will it get him or her closer or farther away from that goal? And you don't really know which one it's going to be closer or farther away. Um, you know, because I believe and um, I've been shown in recovery that my higher power, God of my understanding, the universe, sometimes... Um, has other plans. And um, if I have an exact thing that I want, then um, I may miss out on the, 
the grander scheme or the lesson that I'm supposed to learn if I'm trying to push forward. But um, as an artist myself, um, you know, I just, um, sometimes I, I wonder like why, what's the purpose of painting something? And, um, or, you know, if nobody's gonna hear it, you know, if I play my piano or if I play my guitar or if I paint something and I don't have a gallery to show it in, like, what's the purpose of that? And um, I've found that in this recovery, this one day at a time, this connecting to the spiritual realm, that's what it's for, so that I can be present and joyful and lose myself in something that is beautiful. And um, I can be present in that beauty and being present is a beautiful thing because then I know that I'm okay. I'm doing something for myself that's self-care and um, yeah, it's, it's wonderful to have a show. It's wonderful to have a gallery to, you know, as an artist, or if um, I was, uh, if I had a few, uh, if I had a way to record some of the things that I've well, I do, I put them on these voice memos because that's all I know how to do at this point. But um, it just brings me pleasure because I've always said, you know, I'm gonna learn how to play guitar or I'm gonna learn how to play piano. And um, I just started it, you know, I just wanna hear it. So I'll just, it's like a meditation for me. And um, anyway, um, yeah, so what I was saying is that uh, action. Um, being in action is not that easy when you're first starting to um, be sober or if you're um, recovering in uh, an alcoholic home or traumatic, um, you know, upbringing, you know, if you're just working on yourself little by little. Um, but decisions will lead you somewhere. So making a decision and actually acting on it and finding what, like following your joy is one way of looking at it. How does that make me feel good or bad in a positive way that's, that's good for the universe, good for your universe, your family, you, your friends, like what's going to be a positive influence on that. So those are how you make choices that are best for you. And then you can always change. If that isn't working out, then you change it. Like I just realized, I was like, why am I not getting any calls on my resumes that I'm putting out? And I'm like, I bet they have my other address on there. And I looked and they do. So I fixed that. And so that's my action. And I could be like, oh my God, I wasted all that time. I mean, but I found out and I took action and I fixed it and I know I'm okay and it is okay. And um, it was nice to see how more, much more clear after three years of, of working continually on this program, how much more clear it's getting. So that's, yay. <laughs> so um, that's uh, just my share for that. And um, I want to hear how you guys are doing and um, how you take action. And um, yeah, it's good to share. Thank you so much for the encouraging words and the comments and how you guys share with each other. I'm just really grateful of that. I also offer astrology and tarot readings, as I've said before, um, it's in the comments in the um, description. So you can just email me if you have any questions about that. I'll do a personal recording for you. And there's several options. So just uh, email me if you are interested. I'd be happy to answer any questions.
So um, with that said, we'll go ahead and say the third step prayer. And we'll follow it with the, the um, serenity prayer. And then we'll end this on a, um, I'll decide, make a decision to end this right now and welcome you to um, listen to this while you're driving or cooking or painting, um, maybe when you're having your coffee in the morning. Yeah, it's nice to spend time together. And um, so, hold my cat. Let's take a nice deep breath in and out and be present with me. Here we go. God, I offer myself to thee to build with me and do with me as thou wilt. Relieve us of the boundaries of self so that we may better do thy will. Take away my difficulties so the victory over them bear witness to those I would help with thy love, power, and way of life. May I do thy will always, amen. Grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change. Can't change outside circumstances, people, places, or things. To have the courage to change the things we can. Ourselves, our, our perception, our <laughs> resumes, and the wisdom to know the difference of what we can do and what we cannot do yeah and accept that so keep coming back it works if you work it because you're worth it and i love you the universe loves you and um live in life on life's terms you know uh just one day at a time and um i love you i'll see you soon god willing bye <laughs>